Live. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. Thank you, Honorable Mother. Robert Mbui. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I rise on um, Standing Order 1, uh, which uh, basically indicates uh, in the absence of uh, um, something that is not given direct, expressly provided in the Standing Orders, that uh, we can seek that you help to give direction. Now, Mr. Speaker, <coughs> yesterday we, <coughs> excuse me, we, we received your decision, Mr. Speaker, uh, when you returned the request for CSS to be CSS to be vetted by the House, and you said there is no there is an absence of constitutional or statutory provisions that uh, would have been used to do that, Mr. Speaker. I'm asking this because just now you did point out that uh, cabinet secretaries will be allowed to come to answer questions in the chamber and if designated where they will be. But the practice, Mr. Speaker, has been that when dealing in committees, a lot of times the cabinet secretaries have sent either their CASs or their principal secretaries. Mr. Speaker, I would like you to, to advise what, how do we interact with the CASs when it comes to committees in view of the fact that you yourself have kind of indicated that theirs is not a constitutional office. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Robert Mbui, uh, I think the communication was very clear. Ministers will come here to answer questions. In committees, I don't know what the chairman do. When I was in the Senate, all the committees I sat of finance, defense, and foreign relations, we never allowed a minister to send a CAS or a PS on their behalf. We only dealt with ministers. I leave it to the chairman of committees to decide what they want to do. Uh, I will ask the majority leader at some point to give a statement on the floor of the House. What I, however, need to make clear is that uh, the appearance of ministers in plenary here is not a closure of their appearance in committees. There will be questions that will be inadequately prosecuted on the floor and the discretion of the speaker may direct them back to committees for further inquiry and investigations. There may also be questions which in the opinion of Mr. Speaker and on the advice of the clerk may require in-depth investigations and may be sent directly to committees. But I also know that uh, question time is the sweetest time for members of parliament in the plenary. So every member who files a question, I'll give you your day. If it's inadequately answered, I'll send you to prosecute it in the committee as has been done in the past. So I think that uh, would satisfy you for now. Majority Leader, if you will have uh, any additional information when we resume, I'll give you an opportunity to make a statement because all this will be coming via your office. Next order. Order number three, messages. Order number four, petitions. Order number five, papers. Before the majority leader presents the papers, honorable members have been asked by the honorable Dr. Nikal to remind you that when you eulogized the doyen of feminist politics in Kenya, the honorable Grace